Hey, this is Nanks here from Server 569. Uh, I'm here with Scarecrow and he's going to guide me through his nuclear reactor. His extremely powerful nuclear reactor. <laughs> Scarecrow, uh, where were we up to last time in your last video? Uh, in the last video, I had it so every time I attached a uh, glass fiber cable to the, the nuclear reactor, it just sizzled straight away and uh, disappeared. Um, I found a way around that, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. Before we go there, can you just show us the um, the voltage reading on that cable? Uh, yeah, I'll just crank up the reactors. Awesome. Power! <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's how much uranium's inside of it. It's a fair bit. It can be more powerful, but the, the beauty of this reactor is that it uh, stays under 400 degrees Celsius, or whatever it's measured in. <laughs> um, voltage output is 1800 each. So, Pretty darn impressive. Yeah, that that just proves that the uh, the glass fiber cables can carry a lot more than what's specified in the wiki. Uh, I've got two running parallel, so it's even higher. I've got this one running at 3,600 uh, EU per tick. Mm, huge amounts of power! And the way that I was able to do this <laughs> is by running a parallel uh, system like this. Yeah, so, so those ones on the left, that's the yeah. transformers? Yeah, the transformers, all in parallel, run parallel into the MFSUs and then they're parallel again out into wherever I want it. Cool. So if we just have a quick look here, we've got yeah, the 3000 comes in, and then by here, uh, it starts to get break and broken down, and then by the time it's out here, oh, it's still quite high. <laughs> um, I guess there's five of them. Yeah. Um, I think that is because... 5 volts of 512, isn't it? Yeah, this is two packets of uh, like 3000. So it's 1800 uh, eight, per eight, Yeah, 1800 per packet, and yep. whereas these ones here are at 500, and you can just keep adding them up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, awesome. um, basically had to. It never actually powered anything, so I've had to uh, just get a few quarries happening or something just to make it a make it make it actually worth. Yeah, doing. make it worth the, the effort. You get a mass fabricator there somewhere as well. That tends yeah, to suck up the power. it does tend to suck up a lot of power. It's how I drain the MFSUs, which is <laughs> pretty effective at doing it. So you can see it there, just powering along. Just go into it, I want to see how fast it's going. Yeah, it's with the reactors going, <laughs> it, yeah, it cranks. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it does a right, I guess, you know, yeah. it's, it's not bad. I'll just quickly show you the cooling as well. I've made a few changes to that. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, made it combustion engines instead of uh, redstone, just to, so then it pulls six, lots of 64 at a time. You mean one lot of 64? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. So make sure that the system is definitely always cool. Yeah, if without ice it would go up in seven seconds, I think it's mm, rated up. Seven seconds, oh, okay. But yeah. It could be a bit of a problem. This, it could be, you can make this reactor system a lot more powerful, or reasonably powerful, but uh, you do so at the expense of uh, reactor heat, and I'd need to turn on water and all that sort of thing. Yeah, awesome. So yeah. No, oh, looks really good. Yeah, well thanks for... Uh, Got in the story. Yeah, yeah. Th thanks for that, Scarecrow. Alright. We'll see you guys next time. Next time. Bye.